Good afternoon, Team Riven. Today, our lesson will focus on the difference between the new Cisco routers and the old Cisco routers. We are discussing this because there are a lot of questions on why companies need to upgrade or even downgrade. All right, so let's start. This is a classic example of an old Cisco router, the 2600. A lot of Cisco schools are still using 2600, which is not good, okay? New routers such as the 2911 or anything with the 29 series are what Cisco is advising companies migrate up, to migrate into. Now, one of the reasons on why Cisco made the next lesson is this. Old routers, such as 2600, when you turn, that, turn them on, it goes to what you call the setup mode. So you have to put in yes and type yes there and give it a name, say router five uh, or old, old router. Password, pass pass as well all right pass one telnet will be passed also yes sub ids ip address 10 001 password is pass no okay so this would be the summary of the entire system all right that's how you configured old cisco routers okay old cisco routers does not support the command show license because licenses are not required to run any feature for example I want to run voice over IP the command is config T telephony does service do show telephony does service I have call manager for running very simple now let's compare this to newer Cisco routers I have a Cisco 2901 router over here which I will now turn on so as you can see my router is using version 15.0 the latest model of routers and if you can look at here you would notice that newer routers such as the 2901 have bigger memory it comes default with 512 of MB of memory whereas on the old routers I'm given just around 256 MB now let's go back to the new routers so as you can see it's still booting on now why did Cisco made the migration from version from the old version to the new version of the Cisco routers this is the explanation in Pirate Bay you can download all the Cisco iOS literally for free that's to almost 24 gig of cisco router ios here we go notice the version it's 12.4 mostly 12.4 or even 12.3 you do not see versions such as 15.0 why i will explain later on so Cisco invented the software activation. Yes, Cisco now requires you to activate the licenses to run features such as voice over IP. Unlike before, where can, you can just turn on the feature that you want provided that your iOS supports it newer routers have a different 
approach into the iOS. Let's just wait this to boot up. All right. So this is a classic example of a newer Cisco router because rather than going to the setup mode, it goes to this prompt where you can type any username, for example, Cisco. The password will be Cisco. Now I'm able to log in. If I type the command, show license. you will notice that voice is not running unlike in the old cisco routers voice features are automatically enabled so telephony service does not run all right so now this is the major difference between the old router and the new one. The newer routers, you need to purchase license files to enable the features such as voice. All right. Whereas on the old routers, you can just download the iOS in Pirate Bay and run any feature. Thank you.